on the subject of you and religion. What is your religious belief or non-belief in a god, gods? How did you get to that point and why? If you are an atheist, are you agnostic or gnostic? I got quite a bunch of questions in that direction and I try to boil it down to just the key points. So I intend to first talk a little bit about my understanding of religion in general before I then move on to my personal religious beliefs. For starters I want to remind you guys that I am living in Germany which has a rather different religious environment from for example the US. We have a very strong and omnipresent religious foundation. Uh, as an example, one of our really, really big two political parties is the CDU, the Christian Democratic Union. So you see Christianity is even integrated in rather mundane aspects of life. But despite that, we also have a more moderate understanding of religion. For example, if you would try to teach creationism here in Germany, even priests and uh, school teachers would probably laugh at you. Even religious education in this country is based on critical thinking and uh, enlightenment. So now for my understanding of religion in general. The basic purpose of religion is to answer existential questions and also provide a moral guideline for humans to live by. The first indications of religious behavior uh, in humans have been dated 500,000 years ago when humans started to perform burials because most animals don't even pay attention to their dead. Most species don't realize dying as this cut in life. One individual simply isn't there anymore and the corpse is just a corpse lying there. When the humans started to perform burials, they obviously have grown aware of their own mortality and therefore celebrated death in a certain level. And this has been the first manifestation of religious behavior. The next big step came in the agricultural revolution. Until then, humans basically lived in family clans only yeah, with their family members. When humans discovered agriculture and started to live in bigger communities and tribes, they needed moral guidelines to maintain peace between not related people and also to justify a hierarchy with a leader of the tribe and so on, because it was the leader chosen by the gods. Now for the purpose of keeping this video reasonable short, let's skip a few millennia and development steps as well in, as in society as well as in religion and jump directly to nowadays. We live in a fucking complex world. The individual is pretty much overwhelmed with all the stuff going on and we have to trust a lot of aspects of our life in the hands of others like state, like uh, judges, like lawyers. Also, main center of our life has become efficiency, money, proving yourself to yourself and the world around you. And this leaves very little room for just taking a break and have, feeling a little bit of spirituality. And this is my theory that religion nowadays provides a safe haven of spirituality for many people. Now let's move on to my personal stand to the topic of religion. I have been born and raised Christian Catholic. I went to a Jesuit boarding school for five years and I even took an advanced course in religion for my high school diploma. In all modesty, I dare to say that I have a quite above average religious education and that I might even be able to out-religion uh, some backwoods priest. But enough of my religious education, how did I personally develop as a religious person. Growing up in a Christian family, I uh, went to church uh, as a child on a more regular basis, later further in between. As I already mentioned, with my uh, advanced course and my time in the boarding school, I actually did uh, study religion rather uh, intensely. And especially during my time in the boarding school, I also experimented a lot with uh, aspects like prayers and meditation. Uh, for example, we had assignments like uh, going in this beautiful uh, crypt we had and just be, just stay in there for 10 to 15 minutes, I believe, and just try to either relax or even pray. I tried praying like the dialogue way, like addressing a more uh, divine entity, 
but uh, it did not really work for me. And eventually I started reflecting on myself, on my belief system and how I actually feel about all this stuff and I pretty much came to the conclusion that I were not a believer. Uh, I actually never have been. As a small child, I pretty much went along. I mean, what small child actually questions what their parents tell them and then I didn't uh, think about it too much and when I eventually and when I eventually started reflecting it was pretty much like oh, there has never really been any deeper faith or belief in all this. And eventually while still continuing doing all the rituals and stuff uh, uh, I had one uh, key event which pretty much uh, yeah, brought me on the path where I am today. Uh, after many years, we went to church together as a family once again, and uh, one of my sisters has been there as well. And when it came to the Holy Communion, my sister stayed in place. She did not went to the front to the altar. And uh, after uh, church, I went to her and was like, hey, I recognized you didn't really uh, take part in the whole thing. And she was like, well, I don't believe in it, therefore going there pretending is just empty symbolism for, yeah, for who? For who actually? For the other people in the church? For herself? No, not really. For me personally, this was a moment of epiphany and I'm rather thankful to my sister for it because nowadays honesty and integrity are two of my driving main ideals. I was pretty much just pretending, going along and creating an illusion for the others and myself. And I was dishonest. I was dishonest to myself. I was dishonest to my whole surroundings. And at this point, I pretty much instantly stopped taking part in all this stuff. And of course, when there were this kind of family trips to church for Christmas or something, I went along as part of the whole uh, family experiencing, but I never took part in the whole communion thing and pretending and stuffness. Um, so, conclusion so far, I don't consider myself a Christian anymore or a member of any other religion. And as everybody who is critical thinking and sane, I am of course an agnostic. Because no matter if you are religious or not, you can not know. So you basically have to be agnostic. It is called faith and believing for a reason. But I also have to admit I have a certain spiritual side to myself. I do believe in higher mechanisms. I believe that there is some kind of force behind the universe that kind of keeps things going. I mean, you can call it uh, God's creation if it makes you feel better. I personally would call it physics, evolution and those other great things that kind of drive us forward. So what am I? I don't believe in any godlike entity, so therefore by definition I am an atheist. Uh, um, com in comparison to the amazing atheist uh, Jacqueline Glenn and Cult of Dusty, I am a rather moderate atheist. This is pretty much due to the fact that I live in a moderate religious environment. So. I simply don't have the need to be this aggressive and angry. But if it comes down to it, I always side with those guys over religious bigots who try to forbid uh, homosexuals to live who they are, uh, who try to forbid using condoms and other bullshit. I can also see myself talking about religion on my channel every now and then once again, but I don't want to make it a main topic, considering that there are already far more enthusiastic fellows out there like the Amazing Atheist, Jacqueline Glenn, uh, Mr. Epsilon and so on. But if you need a more moderate atheistic point of view on stuff, I'm here. This ain't why opinion counts.